aging face that this world has forgotten. I think that's the worst part about the game itself is the EV kind of transaction is so annoying. Oh, that's, this is going to be great. This. This is a team, Xenon. No, I thought... Actually, my team is actually kind of tough too. I'm not going to really take that away from you. But damn. I got shit to do. Uh... <laughs> Did I say I had a tapu? Yeah, you have a tapu. Uh, I can see that. Um... It's not too bad though. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can get myself some fun time here. And if I don't, I still try. The thing is here, my team is actually really good in some aspects. Though, clearly, you know, Alolan, Sandslash, Hiriyama, and Pillow Swine are clearly Pokemons made for this kind of environment. You know, the environment that is freaking Scizor, Snorlax, Madbus. Tapu Koku and freaking Stami, because, you know, Stami just, mwah, thank you for existing. Uh, this is gonna be great. Hey, Sparky, what's up? But yeah, I'm all for this. I mean, I, I don't necessarily think I'm gonna lose here. I might be lying, but I don't think so. With coffee at my side, I shall now lose. Might be lying, but I'm okay with that. My hail will help you. You would think so, huh? Raiha versus Kaiser. It's on now. It is on now. That's an electric surge. That's gonna be just great. I don't have anything to take this hit. I don't have a Pokemon that can take any hit from this individual. That's... That's great. I love this. This is the ideal situation. This is one you want to be at. I think. That's... It's not the lead I wanted. I can tell you guys that much. Tapu Koko was clearly... Clearly the best lead of it. I really like Sandslash. I really, really wish it was better. Probably one of the few Pokemon that actually annoy me how not good it is. Alright, I'm gonna bring in Melvin, hoping for Dazzling Gleam. That will just tickle me so well. There we go. Mmm. Tickle me. Actually, it worked. Um. So, Alright, I'm expecting Mandibus to come in here. Misty. That's not Mandibus. Oh, right. This is this is gonna be one of those games, isn't it? Hmm. This is gonna be one of those games, I'm sure. This is gonna go great for me. Yeah, this is gonna be go great. Kind of regret that I didn't go for Stealth Rocks. I was predicting the bus. Got the me. Hmm. I think the worst part is, had I just predicted him to go for Dazzling Gleam, as I, just, I did assumingly, I would have hit him with an Earthquake and probably knocked him out. So that's, that's great. Nice mess up there. There's a Scald. Burn? No. No burn. Let the match continue. Hmm. 
Hey, Poker Kid, what's up? Thank you for joining. Alright, I did say and go for Psychic. This is not going to be a good battle for me whatsoever. I am feeling everything working against me right now. Wow. That's the fine's not super effective there, huh? Uh, definitely, there is really nothing going my way. Uh, and that's terrible. That's terrifying knowing that. Um, I'm a sitting duck. Right, he has to go for another psychic, I'm sure. Um, so at least I can try to soak that. He'll go for recovery. Alright. Recovery, most likely Rapid Spin, Scald, and Earthquake, then. So Scald should be his main way of attacking me. Well, tonight I feel a little bit frustrated. I do believe I'm, I'm doing all the wrong calls as a series of plays here. That's really, really pissing me off. This is probably the first time it goes my way. That's splendid. Alright, I'm expecting a Roar Reveal here, and without any kind of... Uh... Oh, withdraws that, alright. Uh, without any way of actually setting something up, I'm kinda screwed here. Ooh. That's, that's not gonna work for me. Not the ideal matchup. Hey, Eric, what's up? Favorite joining, buddy. Alright, just gonna take the chance of Mega Evolving. Hopefully, I get some momentum here. Hopefully. Please kill it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I needed that. I needed that a lot. Ugh. I really, really needed that. <sighs> I'm still in a shitty position, though. So here comes the Roar Reveal, I was kind of expected. And we're gonna knock it out with a flash cannon. Because we can. Come on, Garuga. You're clearly proving your worth already. I don't like you. Please go for Thunderbolt. 
I demand this. Call mine, actually. That's fantastic. That's that's gonna be super helpful. Um, and hail stopped. Of course it did. Pretty sure this mon gets grass knot, but he goes for dazzling gleam. So that's okay. I do believe you can take one of these. Earthquake should do um, well with Aurora Veil, not a lot. It should hurt him, right? I'm the one with the hex. I am the one. Who? Me. I am the one with the hex. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. It's just good business. That was clearly unfortunate. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, that's um, that was great. <laughs> okay, so I mean, what what happens now, right? <sighs> so if I have to guess, he's gonna go for the me first, right? Um, get the attack raise. I already seen this set, which is a clear indication that you know I have some advantage going on here. Um, so earthquake is the way that's gonna fall down on me here, and that's gonna be super helpful. I mean, he's gonna go plus two, which is great. And I have to figure out a way to kind of avoid this situation completely. Come on, Kasher. Do your thing. There's the Brave Bird. We should soak this still. Yeah, it's all relative. It's all relative. Hmm. So he's gonna go for Brave Bird again. Bone Rush. There's the Raver. We're looking for you. Oh, so much recall. The Roar Wheel is still going strong here. Yeah, I was sarcastic. I was. <laughs> I 
I wonder what he thinks about. Alright, he left me Thunderbolt him. It's not gonna kill due to, of course, the freaking Aurora Veal, but that's gonna knock us out cleanly here. Uh, oh, take one though! <laughs> take one of the two! Um... Alright. I need this. It's out! It is out! Scarfed Sandslash! Finally working for something! Oh! <laughs> <sighs> I was really playing around this whole situation. I wanted him around 50% hoping that Icicle Crash was enough. I didn't want to activate the weak armor at any point. And if it's going to be activated, it will two through a knockout, so I can go for um, Banded Aqua Widget with, uh, um, with my uh, Assumeril. I was really fearing a roost here, if I was going to mess up. <sighs> I needed that. I really did. The game is still kind of over, but at least, you know, at least I'm there. Unfortunate. That was the whole package, wasn't it? That was the whole package, definitely. That was fair. That retaliation was so needed for Xenon. And I have to figure out a way to win now. It's still not over, that's the worst part. It's still not over. So right, who draws that? I don't know if that's a good thing or not, as Misty comes in. You already know the set. I swear it does so much damage, it's not even funny. Alright, sacking Melvin because I kinda have to. As he goes for recover. That's the right play to make. And Skull is gonna KO.
I really have to make up my mind. <sighs> Goes with scold, actually. Allows me for one dragon dance. Let's see if I get greedy. I kind of see him going for psychic here. Kid's going for skull, alright. Ah, still a burn, still a burn. Still no burn. Come on, Salamence! Please! We need this. We really do need this. Come on, Salamence, Supersonic Sky Strike. This is the running theme of the day. Have you seen Salamence animation? Your skydiving is smack! <laughs> Great gift roll, great, great. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't risk a potential burn. I really couldn't risk that. So I'd rather go plus three here and hurt him as much as I can. Oh, boop! All right, that's it. GG. <laughs> No, it's not as epic as Tokanus variant, it's definitely not. Oh, GG. GG, Xenon. I'm sorry about those hacks, honestly. I mean, it was funny, but, you know, I definitely know that it shouldn't turn out that way. It definitely would Aurora Veal, Tabu Koko just getting knocked up by Pillow Swine. I know exactly that should have turned about. That was not a KO, and I know that. So, for, that, for so what is worth, you know, I'm sorry. Alright, so I'll take a short break um, now, guys, and uh, I'm back in like five minutes, stuff like that.